So here's some simple things you can copy from the Andy Murray forehand to help improve your forehand. So simply go out and film yourself from the side and check to see that you're doing what Andy's doing. The first is take the racket back with both hands. You can see he's taking the racket back. He's got the racket head and his head at the same height. That's called two heads are better than one. But I want you to notice that he's got his non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket. This is not common practice when it comes to club players. So take the racket back with both hands. It creates tension in the body. When you coil, you can then uncoil properly into the shot. So turn with both hands. The next thing, drop your racket down below contact and tilt your strings down. So you can see that his strings are tilted down toward the ground. If his racket were a mirror, he'd have the ground reflection in the mirror. So you want to tilt your strings down toward the ground. You want to drop below contact height. That then allows you to swing up to contact. If I draw a straight line across the height of contact, we can actually see that his racket is below contact height. That allows him to swing up and through to impart topspin. So make sure that you're dropping down lower than contact, but tilting your strings down at that same time. That's going to make you swing up for topspin with confidence. Now, speaking of the contact point, we can see that his non-hitting hand is up. I want you to watch the movement of his non-hitting hand as he's hitting this ball or, or approaching contact, I should say. Notice his non-hitting hand is rising. This is not Again, common practice with recreational players. What you typically see with recreational players is the club player drops the hand as they're striking the ball. You want your non-hitting hand to rise. That makes it really easy, as we talked about rotating the body. Raising the non-hitting hand while you're striking the ball makes it really easy to rotate your, sh your hips into the shot. You'll notice his head is looking forward. I would much rather have <laughs> your head down uh, like Nadal and uh, Roger Federer, who are amazing at that. But again, Andy Murray, amazing player as well. But you can see his strings are facing forward. But let's look at the angle of his swing. If we take this line and go straight out, that's basically level, right, to where he's you know going to be swinging. And let's look at where his racket is now. So look at the upward swing. So his strings were facing forward at contact. But his racket's not going to travel forward. You don't want to be swinging flat into the back of the ball. You want to swing up as you're hitting the ball. That's why you drop below the ball so you can swing up as you're striking. But this upward swing, understanding that your racket should be going up as you're hitting the ball, is what's going to allow you to put that top spin that you want for control. A lot of players think, well, Ryan, if I swing up, then the ball's going to go up. No, no, no. That's only if your racket face is open. If your racket face is open, facing up, then swinging up would make the ball go up. But remember, Andy tilted his strings down toward the ground. And when your strings tilt down toward the ground, when you drop below contact, that's what allows your strings to then face forward when you're hitting, even while you swing low to high. Those simple ideas will make a huge improvement in your game. Now, to help you practice these ideas at home, get a Topspin Pro. You can use my link in the description below. It would mean the world to me. So thank you so much. First, take the racket back with two hands. Two heads are better than one. Two-headed monster, right? Racket head, your head, similar height. Take the racket back, but do it with your non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket. Creates tension in the body, and that coiling effect allows you to uncoil into the shot. The next idea, drop lower than contact and tilt your strings down toward the ground. It doesn't matter if you use a lag type of forehand or not. Getting the racket below contact with the racket closed is vital. That's what allows you to swing up to contact with confidence so that you can impart the spin that you need and make the ball rotate. That gets the ball spinning over itself and it's almost like extra gravity. You hit the ball over the net and the ball gets sucked down into the court. Now, when we saw Andy Murray doing this, we could see his non-hitting hand rising as he's hitting the ball. Yes, is it natural for Andy Murray is Andy Murray even aware that his non-hitting hand is rising to contact? No, and he doesn't have to know. But you need to know and check because, you know, as non-professional tennis players, we need to make sure we're giving ourselves every chance we can to play our best tennis. Make sure that your non-hitting hand is rising, which is one of the reasons why I tell people to wave to the opponent when they're striking the ball. So you can think, take the racket back with both hands, drop under the ball and close the racket face. And then as you're hitting, you're rotating your body to present the racket to contact. It's like you're waving to your opponent. Now you're going to be swinging up 
as you do this, and that was the difference in the direction where the strings are pointing and the path that the racket was traveling, which is what imparts the spin. And one of the reasons why I then ask people to catch the racket as if they're Dominic Team. It's funny, I'll always mention Dominic Team as someone who catches their racket when he finishes hitting forehands when he's practicing. And people say, well, he doesn't do that in a match. And I, I totally get it. But he does it in practice. And I don't know about you, but I certainly couldn't just stand there and crack forehands and backhands back and forth with Dominic Team when he's just unloading on the forehands that he hits in practice. So I would love to play tennis as well as, as Dominic Team in practice. And I would assume, since you're watching this video, that you would love that as well. So Rack it back with both hands, drop below contact, non-hitting hand above and waving to the opponent, and just catch the racket like Dominic Team. It'll make an absolute world of difference in your game. Now, to help you practice more and find people in your local area and find coaches who can, are close to you who can improve your game, I want you to use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. Play Your Court is an unbelievable service that helps you improve your game quickly. If you use my link in the description, you get 50% off when you join. Work on these simple ideas on your forehand ground stroke. And when you do, there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.